Hi, folks. This week, we're showcasing the amazing work of BC's local governments and especially how their asset management practices are helping them better manage the impacts of COVID-19. Here's what they had Dan, to say. The, uh, you know, we're very fortunate in 2019, our board adopted our asset management policy, which was an updated policy, and as well as our asset management strategy. And, you know, both really um, address risks, so risks to our assets and um, how we can, you know, best prepare for, for uh, tackling those risks. And um, it, it, it also, th those, th the policy and the strategy kind of drove some of the toolkit that we've developed. And um, one of the tools that we use to inform the 2020 budgeting process is our, you know, project analysis business case tool. And um, through that process, you know, we really were able to identify uh, the 2020 and, and, and further uh, projects with regard to, you know, are they regulatory, legislated, um, you know, were they going to be uh, for, you know, our utilities, water, wastewater, those type of things, or were they just nice to have projects? So we, we already had everything prioritized uh, when COVID-19 hit. Um, you know, our leadership, CAO, immediately reached out to managers saying, look, what, what uh, can you put aside? What, uh, you know, must you keep going on with? And um, so, so from that, we were e easily able to, you know, just kind of do that quick sort. And then how are we going to uh, be able to continue with the jobs we've got to get done and meet all the provincial, you know, guidelines of physical distancing, et cetera.